Fidelma O'Leary is about to travel far from the heart of Texas to Mecca to make her pilgrimage. And this will be driven by what? But first, she has a little physiology to take care of. Can give you an insight into your own physiology. Dr. O'Leary is a professor of neuroscience at St. Edward's University in Austin. The O in O'Leary may tell you Fidelma wasn't born in a Muslim family. She was raised Catholic, and by the time she was in college, she was already questioning her faith. I was listening to a call-in radio show, and some guy called in and said, well, what I don't understand is this. If Jesus was God, how could he worship God? <laughs> For Fidelma, the caller gave voice to a yearning, and questioning turned to conversion. This is what I think of as my light bulb moment. This was the moment when all the pieces finally locked and clicked. And I knew that Islam was the religion for me. I just embraced it and loved it. Back in Texas, Fidelma has a few more wardrobe choices than Ismail. You don't love this? Islamic law stipulates she must dress modestly. Very, very comfortable. For Hajj, you want more like this kind? Yeah. In Saudi Arabia, that includes covering her hair. <laughs> you have, you have it. Just, there's a trick. You want me to try that out? What do you think of this? I don't think they'll find the pants. There is not only a dress code for pilgrims. Nice. The Saudis mandate that pilgrims travel in groups. Fidelma is going in a group with fellow Texan Amina Rather. It's fine. You like this? Okay. I think this is the one I'm going to get. Hajj rituals are so complex, they require study. Fidelma and Amina meet with a group of women twice a week to prepare for the upcoming trip. Between immigration and conversion, Islam is one of the fastest growing religions in America. For some, the choice to convert takes a toll. It hurt my whole family tremendously because it hurt my parents. It's okay. I mean, we get along. When my actions caused so much pain to my parents, then my siblings reacted against me because of that. And I understand that. It was just unfortunate. Conversion earned her cold shoulders where she came from and roadblocks to where she's going. To get a visa for this exclusive journey, Fidelma had to prove she is Muslim. I had to get a certificate from my mosque saying that even though my name doesn't sound Muslim, I'm actually a legitimate Muslim. By bus and on foot, pilgrims pour toward the symbolic center of their faith. They chant their commitment to worship and serve the one God. This is the theme song of the Hajj, the Talbiya, and pilgrims will chant it hundreds of times in the coming days. Here I am at your service, here I am at your service. There is nothing worthy of worship but you. Here I am, O Allah, at your service. For Muslims who have prayed in this direction every day for years, seeing the Kaaba for the first time is almost overwhelming. I can't believe it. Every day, five times a day. Let's go from here. I can't believe it. Let's go here. They have all earned an honorific title. Haji for the men, Haja for the women. For Fidelma, the last few days have been cathartic, joyful, and sometimes sobering. Muslims come from everywhere, from every place and from every walk of life. Perhaps the Muslims who are from, you know, majority Muslim countries need to realize that a little bit more. There's going to be a lot of green-eyed Irish Muslims coming here and blue-eyed British Muslims coming here and Muslims from the U.S. There's going to be all sorts of looks, more and more, I think. <laughs> 